Hi, I'm Andy, and welcome to my walkthrough of the 2020 Sans Holiday Hack. A fun, laid-back cybersecurity challenge, all wrapped up in a whimsical, festive storyline, usually involving an evil villain trying to ruin Christmas. Last year, it was the dastardly Tooth Fairy who was up to no good. Although, as we discovered in her confession note at the end, she was aided and abetted by Jack Frost. So, it came as no big surprise when this year's event again took a turn for the worse. Challenges this year included some fundamentals around command line Linux and regular expressions, moving on to car area networks, Splunk analysis, injecting handcrafted packets into a network, and finally culminating in a blockchain hash collision. Each video in this series will focus on one main challenge objective, along with the associated terminal challenge, which provides some hints for the main objective. And one final thing before we get started, this series is one big spoiler for the challenge, so if you've not yet had a chance to have a go yourself and want to, pause this video and go give it a try. Although the competition may have closed, the challenge itself will stay running for several years to come. Okay, let's get started. After registering and logging into the game, we find ourselves at Junction 7A of the New Jersey Turnpike. We're greeted by one of Santa's elves, who welcomes us to KringleCon, the virtual cybersecurity conference that Santa holds every year. Before jumping in the gondola and heading up the mountain to Santa's castle, we have our first objective to solve, which can be found by clicking on the badge on our avatar's chest. As a nice simple warm-up exercise, we're challenged with reading some distorted text in the billboard image behind the gondola, and determining what Josh Wright is going to get for Christmas. Clicking on the billboard provides a much bigger version, and the distortion clearly makes the text unreadable. However, there's still plenty of information stored within these pixels, and the deterministic nature of computing means that it's possible to unwind this effect and return to the original data. The hardest part of this challenge is selecting the right area to untwirl, so I opted for GIMP as it has a neat feature which allows for selecting content from a central point outwards rather than the typical corner to corner. This makes it easy to line up the selection well, and then use the whirl and pinch distort filter to unwind. The end result isn't perfect, as clearly I didn't quite get the right central spot, but it's clear enough to see that Santa is going to be getting Josh a prox mark for Christmas. This is a cool piece of hardware that can read, clone, and simulate ID cards, and we'll get a chance to try one later in the challenge. But for now, we can enter the answer into our badge to complete the objective, and jump in the gondola to head up to Santa's castle. That's all for this video, but leave a comment if you have any questions, or if you used a different method for solving any of these puzzles. We'll pick up the story in part 2, where we'll go hunting for command injection vulnerabilities and exposed S3 buckets. Feel free to take a slight detour on your way to check out some of my other cybersecurity videos, otherwise I'll see you there.